Guys, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see this? This is pretty cool. Watch. I don't know if you can get it closer. Yeah. This is Mountain Dew. You know it. But I'm very excited to have Mountain Dew. Super excited. Because Mountain Dew here on the island is a rare thing. Last time I drank Mountain Dew was many, many years ago. Many years ago. And I just found it. And uh, there's only one place on the entire island that brought it now. It's a small little store. It's like a, it's not even a quickie mart. I mean, it's like, uh, they call it Periptoro here in Greece. They're very tiny. Like you can literally fit two people in there and that's it. And this guy just brought five, five bottles of this only. He told me the four were already sold out and I found the last one and he doesn't know when he'll bring another one, but that's okay. So many years l later, I drink Mountain Dew. I'm very excited. You probably aren't. And you're probably thinking, what is this guy talking about? He's excited about Mountain Dew. Well, you have it every day. We don't have it here every day, you know? So. Anyways, so with that being said, we are going to talk about Camping World. Yes, Camping World. And if you go camping, why don't you uh, take with you some Mountain Dew? It is not a, <laughs> this is a horrible, it's not a commercial. I'm not, I'm not sponsored by Mountain Dew, okay? If, if I was and they saw me uh, commercial Mountain Dew like that, they'd probably fire me. Anyways, Camping World is what we're going to talk about in this video because this is a stock that someone asked me about. Being that summer is already here and they're, they're, the mindset of this investor is that, you know what, Mike, won't there be more business for this company with the season now? And then by September, October, November in Q3 earnings will be good, maybe even the Q4 earnings. Look, let's let's take a look at this stock. So first of all, Campy World, CWH is the ticker symbol. Campy World Holdings, through its subsidiaries, re uh, retails, recreational vehicles and related products and services by the way uh mountain dew if you saw this video which you probably don't you will never see it you don't even know it exists but if you did you know you can thank me by sending me a, you know like a box of mountain dew for free or something like that <laughs> it operates in two segments camper world camping world operates in good sam services and plans uh, they also have the um, uh, they also have the rv and outdoor retails you can see here the company provides a portfolio of services protection plans, products, resources in the RV industry. It also offers extended vehicle service contracts, roadside assistance plans, property casualty insurance programs, travel assistance, travel protection plans, RV and outdoor related consumer show, everything about the RVs, even insurance, everything, right? Um, do you have an RV? Let me know in the comment section below here where I live on this island. The entire island is a total whopping distance of 20 kilometers. So there's no point in having an RV when within tops, depending on how much you, how fast you drive within a half hour tops, you already drove the entire island and you're, yeah, so there's no point. Campy World, America's leading retailer of recreational vehicles and related products and services, right? So it is an, it's a pretty cool company. Here's the, the Twitter page of the CEO of Campy World, Marcus Lemonis. And before I continue, Moo is the proud sponsor of this video, not Mountain Dew, it is Moo. <laughs> if you want six free stocks, six you'll get all six not up to six but all six restocks are yours are worth up to two thousand dollars use my link in the comment section below to sign up to mumu to start trading to mumu you can deposit it wherever you want there's nothing uh, that is required of you or you can deposit 50 cents if you want you'll get six free stocks automatically worth up to two thousand dollars you'll make profits imagine giving 50 cents and you get six stocks worth way 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 more than 50 cents yeah, right you just made money right that's the best investment so use my link in the comment section below now campy world this is their website shop rvs starting at just five bucks per day you can buy camping and rv supplies and much more as i was making the video earlier the slides it was 25 bucks and 46 cents per uh, for the sh uh, per share for the for the stock right 25 dollars 46 cents it's now 24 dollars and something they, i think it dropped to 24.80 I'm not surprised. I'll explain why. So it's gone down. The news here, some of the latest news, Campy World Holdings acquires Anthem RV for an undisclosed sum. Campy World acquires Anthem RV. Campy World continues West Coast expansion with the acquisition of Anthem RV. If we look at the comments section here on the Moomoo Trading app, some people uh, posting images, I'm, I'm guessing here, yeah, short interest chains and so on. It is a stock that is being shorted quite a bit. And I'll explain why. So as per the SEC filing, Campy World's chairman and CEO, Marcus Lemonis, recently, now this is positive news, he recently completed an informative buy. This is very interesting, which implies that the CEO of Campy World purchased 
shares with his own money, right? On June 10, this was on June 10, the CEO purchased 38,350 shares of Campy World for a, an amount of $1 million. He spent a million bucks out of his pocket on June 10, 2022 to buy 38,000 plus shares of his company's stock. That's very positive news. I'll also explain at the end of the video this too. Yeah, and I'll give you my final uh, conclusion as to what I would do with Campy World. Also, director Ken Dillon bought 5,000 shares on May 17th as well as on May 18th for a total of $280,000. Based on these two informative insider transactions made over the last three months, the insider conference signals that uh, there's a lot of confidence in the company from the insiders. Meanwhile, Raymond James analyst Joseph Altobello lowered his price target on Campy World to 40 bucks from 45 right so the analysts are coming out saying you know what this is like forget it 45 they, they say it's 40 bucks they're saying that this sh has a price target of 40 bucks uh the analyst adjusted his forecast following the company's mixed q1 results and management's commentary about demand softening since february so can be old rv sales outdoor gear maintenance and repair with over 185 locations now let's look at this specific chart so like i said it's at 24 dollars 86 cents i think right now it's not 25 46 anymore i chose the lifetime chart on purpose 2018 was a bad year for the stock market it was the beginning of a market sell-off big time and you can see that in 2018 campy world was trading over 40 bucks but then when the markets not it wasn't campy world specific fault but the market itself was on a turmoil um, Campy World dropped all the way down to almost to I think below 10 bucks to and yeah so that's that then it started taking off back in 2019 let's say towards 2020 and it went almost to over 20 bucks but then it I mean it couldn't catch a break uh, immediately after that we had the COVID pandemic crash and the stock went down to four dollars and seventy five cents insane four dollars and seventy five cents and then after that, it started catching up finally and trying to get back to where it used to be. And it did. It hit over 40 again. It went back, right, twice in 2021, beginning of 2022. It went back to what it used to be over 40. But now 2022 rolls around again and we have the Fed rate hikes, inflation, market sell off. And there we go again, Campy World going down, right? So it's at $24 and something now. If this continues, which inflation will still be around, and the Fed, well, the Fed will raise the rates again. July, they're probably going to go for 100 basis points. Stock market is going to go down again, all right? So, Campy World is going to go down again. So, obviously, you understand that this is not a buy right now. But I'll tell you, but is it a buy for long term? Watch. It, so, it's 25, 46. The analysts give it a 26 low, average 35, high 46. There's analysts that are telling, that are saying within the next 12 months, it should hit 40 bucks. Campy World acquires Anthem RV in Arizona. This was recent on June 14, 2022. So Campy World announced an agreement to acquire the operating dealership Anthem RV located in River, New River, Arizona. So Campy World, no matter what is going on right now, they got cash. The company is doing well financially and they're acquiring, uh, you know, like here. And, that, and that's a good thing as well as new site to be built in, in, in Surprise, Arizona, both of which will serve the greater Phoenix area. So the transaction is expected to close next month. Um, here's market limit saying Camper World continues West Coast expansion. Recreational vehicle sales slumped though in 31% in April. That was another reason why people are shorting the stock saying, you know what? Um, it's just, you know, the people aren't buying RVs. They're saying because of the high gasoline costs, uh, the, the gas prices have gone up so much that nobody wants to drive their RVs or buy new RVs because, you know, they consume a lot of gas. Maybe that's one. Maybe it's also inflation that, that has been eating away at the power of your, your purchasing power, right? And people are now saying, you know what, forget the RV. We need to save up our money for things that we need, not want, you know, more important basic things. Uh, and uh, we'll see in the future. So all these things are having an effect, right? Campy World acquires Anthem RV. Although I would have thought that, you know what, people are going to get really tired of this whole pandemic and then inflations and this and this and that. And just, they're just going to want to finally live a little bit. And maybe they'll just want to buy an RV and get away a little bit, right? 
and then uh, so that thinking really didn't work out it was great thinking i had in my mind but it didn't work out because statistically the rv sales are going down but if we look on the bright side of all these things is the revenue is unstoppable the growth in revenue has never decreased ever I and mean, look at that from 2000 2014, 2014 going to 2021, revenue is constantly, constantly growing every year. Very healthy, amazing. In 2014, it was $2.6 billion. Then it goes to 3.2, 3.5, 4.2, 4.7, 4.8, 5.4, 6.9. .9. Constant, constant increase in revenue. Amazing. This company is really, really doing well on that part. Now, we have a tough economic outlook. So in the near term, arguably over the next few years, we will more than likely experience an economic downturn that will negatively impact RV sales and related services. Chairman and CEO of the company, Marcus Lemony, stated in the Q1 2022 press release that he was pleased and that he was pleased with how the year started, particularly in light of general macroeconomic conditions, not micro, but macroeconomic conditions. Yeah, so he's pleased. The CEO is pleased with how the company is doing so far in 2022. So Camping World is priced as if an economic downturn is around the corner. Yeah, it is. I mean, if you're looking at it where it was, it's normal price as a stock, in my opinion, obviously it should be at 40 bucks. That's the normal, you know, in, in normal times, that's what Camping World should be, 40 bucks. And then if we have a eight year bull run, it should hit over $100. But right now it's trading at 24. So you're seeing this, uh, like, that there is a, it's being priced for an economic downturn around the corner. On the other hand, though, Campy World continues to execute very well. That's the confusing part. They are executing well, and the revenues are growing every single year uh, by steadily accumulating value and returning loads of capital to shareholders, which they really are. This is, a, guys, this is a great company. This is an amazing company, a solid company. But is it a buy right now, this moment? What do I buy it tomorrow? No, because most likely it's going to go, the stock will unfortunately end the summer lower this is my opinion i could be so wrong but in order to not guess whether i'm right or wrong whether you're right or wrong then you can do what the intelligent investor book says what does it say in that book that you're powerful your most powerful tool as an investor is dollar cost averaging if you pick a good stock that you believe in and you did your due diligence and you dollar cost average over 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 a period of time not over a month or two months but over a period of some years you will end up uh, on top with profits, a winner. So I'm, I'm really not actually to be, I'm not I'm not concerned about this company. This is a great company. This is an amazing company. It just it's just as far as I'm concerned, it's like okay, should I get in now or should I wait to see if it goes lower or should I just do dollar cost averaging? In my opinion, this is a stunning company that I would like to hold for the next ten years. So there you have it, Campy World Holdings, an amazing company, a great company. I like this company. I just haven't decided yet if I want to get in now or not. To be honest. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit, see if it falls even further, and then I'm gonna get in, and then uh, if I have the dollar cost average, fine. This is a 10 year hope for me. This is a great company, it's, it's managed very well. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree. Don't agree or disagree based on this video. Agree or disagree based on your own research. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Take care, everyone.